Hi, welcome aboard. This is Eddie Denko with Silver Seas Yachts in Newport Beach. On board our 2022 Cruisers Yachts 390 Express Coupe. We've got a few things to show you today. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough and a brief video. We're going to have specs at the end of the video, so make sure to stick around for those. And uh, let's jump on board. All right, so stepping aboard here, the first thing that you're going to notice is this gigantic swim platform that Cruisers Yachts has equipped you with. It makes it really nice to uh, set up some beach chairs or uh, towel when you guys are at anchor. You got the swim ladder on the side. Throw that in the water. Makes it much easier to get back up on the boat when, when climbing aboard. Stepping onto the boat, the first thing that you're going to notice is a couple uh, storage containers on the aft of the boat. You got, um, of course, one on each side. Port side is a uh, perfect place where you're storing shore power cables, dock lines, fenders. Uh, nice convenient place. Uh, stow those away. On the starboard side, you got your shore power connects, you got a freshwater rinse. Um, uh, again, a little bit more storage. Um, just a nice place to stow some things away, keep them out of the way. And on, again, coming back to the port, uh, you're going to have a diesel fill plate on, or I'm sorry, a gasoline fill plate on both sides um, of the boat. And then right above that on the port side, you've got your deck shower. Um, very conveniently placed. Makes it nice and easy to uh, take a quick rinse when jumping back on the boat after, after jumping in. And then coming around, uh, we've got this beautiful cockpit configuration. You've got two L-shaped seatings on both sides with the high-gloss teak table. This is actually probably one of my favorite parts about the boat. Coming around, show you guys that again. You can see that the, the blue courtesy lights are on on both sides. Uh, cruisers really had the users in mind when they were designing this. This port side seating is actually on rollers. So if you guys are entertaining, you have a few more guests on board, and you'd like to use that, use that uh, uh, table for a little, little dinner, um, you can go ahead and grab this side here and conveniently slide that over, creating a U-shaped seating. Along with that, the table's got little stabilizers that will fold out right here. One on both sides. And that table that, that was once on one side becomes a much larger, larger piece. Perfect for entertaining guests, kicking back with family. You notice that the table's uh, also has uh, adjustments on it. So you can go ahead and lower this this table. Um, the table itself has pads that will go over it, one in the lowered position. And along with that, setting up those pads, you get a nice, nice loungy area. I'll show you guys a quick, another quick trip. You'll notice that around the corner here, you've got a control panel. Courtesy lights, those are those blue lights that are on there. Uh, spreader lights, engine room lights, underwater lights, and then port and starboard sunbed. So I'm gonna go ahead and engage those. Notice while doing so, we're opening up that back platform. So with this table in the in the lower position, the pads on top of the table, you've just created a giant sun lounge. Uh, again, perfect for um, while at anchor, hanging out, quick harbor cruises, uh, anyone that wants to catch a little bit extra sun. And coming back around to that control panel that we were just looking at. Go ahead and keep those in that position. You notice that you've got a nice refrigerator here. You've got your AC and heating vents right there. A 120 volt outlet. And then under this compartment. you got a sink. Fresh water here on one side, and on the other side, you got a grill. Uh, whether it's hot dogs, hamburgers, Beyond Meat patties, whatever you're cooking, uh, you got some barbecuing to do. Perfect for entertaining, uh, having guests on board, great family boat. And coming around, 
entering the helm station, you got a nice large, large companion area. You can kick back, hang out while, while underway, very comfortable seating. And then around here, you got a nice big seat. This will comfortably sit too, but just a little armrest. You got a, a step that comes out for, uh, for anyone wanting a little bit more visibility while underway. Go ahead and put that back up. And then looking at the helm station, Ray Marines equipped the boat with, or I'm sorry, Cruises Jets is equipped the boat with a Ray Marine display, as well as your uh, Mercury engine data. The helm is very nicely organized. You got your kicker head unit here. You have joystick controls when docking. Uh, if you need to put it on skyhook, you can go run around, grab some lines. Um, or while you're underway too, you could actually use that joystick. Follow controls, Bennett trim tabs. You got your, your uh, uh, searchlight. VHF, missions, beautifully done wheel. And then we're actually in the open position now. But if you look up here, you've got this beautiful sunroof. Gives you plenty of visibility while underway. If you want to catch a little bit extra sun, or get a little bit of fresh air, um, it's a very convenient, super quiet when, when opening and closing. Simply done with the push of a button. And coming back around, you'll notice that this, this uh, helm station area uh, this cockpit here is um, uh, completely open. So cruiser yachts, uh, uh, the 390 Express Coupe comes standard with an awning that can be that can be assembled here. Um, it slides into this this track up above. You can see it right under that light, but it totally closes this off on a cold day. If you want to warm it up in here, you can turn that heater on. On a warm day, if you want to cool it down in here, uh, you can turn the AC on. Or if uh, you get caught in some inclement weather, uh, of course you got you got a cover to, to protect you in the elements there. And coming back around, we we'll go ahead and step down into the uh, cabin area. Yeah, beautiful wood flooring. You got a nice nice teak teak. Uh, uh, tabletop there again with an adjustable table you can lower this down and you have you have another place to sleep another two adults you can probably fit three maybe even four small children there um, again everything's beautifully done the wood finishes are are amazing here windows on both sides that's something that you don't find um, very often at least of this size we got another kicker head unit here along with a television set. The salon area is around here on the port side. Uh, so you got the galley and uh, very well equipped. You've got a Dometic refrigerator down below, a two burner stove on the counter, as well as a microwave convection oven up top. Lots of storage. You got your sink as well. Things nice, stainless. These are the steps that we just came down. Cruiser shots really had the users in mind um, when they designed this boat, equipping it with plenty of storage space. If you've ever owned a boat before. Um, you know, you really appreciate, you appreciate your storage. And opening up the uh, bathroom area, you got your head. Um, very nice vanity with extra space. You got a bowl sink here. 
and just aft of the head, you've got a full walk-in shower. So instead of having the uh, wet head with the um, shower in the same compartment as the actual head, you've got a dedicated space for showering. And coming back around over here, we'll go to the aft of the boat. Walking in, the first thing you notice, you got plenty of headroom here. You got light switches, as well as AC controls here. Coming down, you got your bed here. It'll comfortably sleep too, with a TV, TV just forward of the bed. Around to the side. Open up this compartment here. You got your 120 volt AC and your 12 volt DC panels. I actually like that it's in the master stateroom here, it makes it nice and easy to uh, power things on and off, especially if you're in here at nighttime. More storage besides the bed. Around the side, you've got. You've got a nice settee. We'll comfortably set two there. And just to the side of that, you've got a beautiful cedar lined, cedar lined closet with hangers. Right now we're currently using it for our life jackets. And uh, next to those life jackets, you've got your uh, inline vacuum system. Um, so you just take the tubing connect the tubing to the connection that you might have seen a little bit earlier. Right here, connect the tube, and you've got vacuum power. Okay, then I'm gonna bring you guys back up. We'll go up onto the bow of the boat. So on either side, you got gangways. Whether you're going to the port, or starboard side. And they're both lit up by those courtesy lights here. You can see those blue lights. We'll walk up here. And you've got your nice little bow lounge. Search lights up front. You've got your uh, uh, anchor box up front as well. Windless controls, both on the bow and at the helm station. In that bow lounge, the backrest will also fold up, giving you that uh, that extra support that you might might want when you're up here. And that just about does it for the walkthrough of the 2022 Cruiser's Yacht 390 Express Coupe. Stay tuned, and uh, you will have the specs on the on the next slide. Thanks for stopping aboard, guys. <laughs>